and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, I am once again taking a look at one of your designs that you have linked me in the comment section of one of my videos. And if you wish to see something of yours shown on this channel, just leave me the Steam Workshop link somewhere and I'll eventually get round to it. It could be big or small, complicated or simple, it does not matter. So I'll simply choose it at random and we'll eventually get through them all. But for the day, we're looking at something rather big and rather complicated and that is the Solaris station which is this thing right here. It has a giant hangar on both sides, plenty of room on the interior, two rotating rings, one solar and one at the very bottom which you can see right there, a bunch of automated stuff so those pistons you see on the middle of the body will extend when you get close to them for your larger ships and the hangar doors will automatically open when a small ship approaches them. So pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu, there it is. This station is not 34,000 blocks, it's once again doing that little buggy thing where it includes the projector into this number, but it does require the decorative block DLC pack and the economy deluxe DLC pack. If I was to double click and just to spawn it in over here, it's only 17,118 large blocks. So there we go. So we're going to start by going around the outside, just have a quick look around and then we'll fly some ships up to those little connection points into the hangar and then it's off to the interior. So starting at the very top here, we've got ourselves a hangar with a little sensor block right there. When a small ship, it has to be a small ship, it will not react to a large ship, comes close to it, it'll then take 20 seconds and then the hangar doors will open up and allow you to fly inside. Once you're clear of the doors, they'll simply close up behind you and then you can connect onto the connector inside. And it's the same on the opposite side of this station. We've got some Gatling guns that surround that to make sure that no enemy pirates just accidentally fly into your hangar. And then coming down to here, we've got some lovely greyish blue blocks. Come all the way down to this bit right here. So this is how everything's going to be connected up. We even have a little doorway in there. We can have a sneaky little look inside and access the gubbins of the ship. We've got some green lights that also go with it to add a little bit of extra flair when it's night time. And we can see just a lot of fancy block work. I was just to come around to here on the top. We've got a glass walkway that goes from the hangar all the way to our recreation area. So we've got a little place up here where we can have our food. Down here it's going to be our little control room or our battle center where we can have our meetings and set things up on a few different chairs. If I just come all the way around to here, we once again got another glass walkway that goes all the way into this hangar on the opposite side, and it goes all the way around. The back and the front are essentially the same apart from this room down here. On the back is our battle room, on this side is our trading room. On the top of the station, we've got a bunch of guns, some more lovely block work, and some windows to let us peer inside at all the stuff going on in there. That is our like little refinery room with our assemblies and all that inside it, so it's a very important room. If I just drop down here, hopefully I'm on the right side with the sun. Where is the sun? Right there. Great stuff. And then come down to here. So this is where our solar ring is rotating off of. We've got ourselves some reactors in the middle which are rotating a little bit faster than everything else and they've been surrounded with some window blocks in a nice little pattern. Similar to what I usually do with my reactors on large ships, have a green glow and encase them with glass. But then attached on the edges of this we've got some little pillars to come all the way across to our solar ring. The solar ring must have taken a bloody long time to do because they've been attached onto each other via rotors. Look at that. So we've got rotors on top of there which is how it's been angled. We've got some batteries that go all the way through the middle of these which have been covered up by some windows and there are the solar panels that sit on either side of them. And that will just keep on spinning around and around and around until you rotor lock it. We just look at some more detail around here. We've got ourselves some oxygen tanks that go around here. We've got ourselves some interior pillars, some lovely little block work, just to make sure there's a little bit of protection there from any kind of debris that comes flying towards you. And then dropping down to here, we've got ourselves another little pillar which is full of hydrogen tanks and some more turrets. Just coming around through here, we do have some lovely patterns. That works really well, the light on there, when you get nice and close to it. Yes, we've got some hydrogen tanks that go all the way through here, so this is how we're going to refuel our hydrogen ships if we dock up. Plenty of turrets there to keep ourselves protected. We've got some window blocks on there with a darkish grey-blue colour. 
then coming all the way down to here, we've got ourselves our auction farms. These are our transfer ports, where a larger ship that can't go into the hangar can fly close. After a few seconds, those pistons with the connectors attached onto them will extend out to 10 meters and allow you to connect up safely without getting close to the station. They have a little LCD screens that pop on when you're in range, and you'll of course hear the little dickly dick of the sensor activating. And that is the same all the way around the side. We've got plenty of different transport ports. Coming down and slightly below, we got even more hydrogen tanks because we want to make sure we've got plenty stocked up in here for those large ships that need an emergency refuel. And we once again got our little window blocks for extra decoration and some more Gatling turrets. Coming down to here, we're now getting close to the bottom actually, but another rotating little disc part which comes down to here. This is just a fancy bit of block work where we got some more auction farms going around the bottom, rotating with some rocket turrets, some galling turrets, and a lot of interior pillars, which does look bloody fantastic, doesn't it? We've even got spotlights in here with a nice green glow, which is great. That's what it looks like in here. You could have a shady business meeting on the rotating part on the bottom of the station. Trade your illicit goods with each other. And just coming around to here, put my light back on, got some connectors that go into the middle there and then we come across to these parts where the auction farms are got some turrets then all the way around there even more auction farms a little bit below that we got even more block work that is still spinning around there's iron cherry pillars we've got some more rocket turrets on the side then at the bottom we got some antennas and some ore detectors those ore detectors are not going to be used because they are there for decoration only but i suppose if you were close enough to an asteroid Maybe a resource full asteroid with like iron and uranium and stuff on there. It would be useful to have it pointing that out to passers by. And at the very bottom of the station, we got ourselves a rocket turret just for a little bit more protection. And there we go. It's a bloody fantastic design that would have taken absolute ages to complete, especially the rotor ring. That looks like an absolute nightmare to build. But now it's time for me to get into a little ship and fly it towards the hangar. So finding my character, which is right here, we need to find out where that ship has gone. Where's that ship gone? Not that... Oh, there it is. It's all merged in a bit with the asteroids in the background. So we have this little ship here. I'm not too sure where it came from, but it's from the workshop. Which if I was to fly up to hangar A, the lights over here will then light up. Hopefully I won't crash. Oof. I'm sure that's fine. But yes. Once you get in range, the lights will turn green. You have to wait 20 seconds and then the hangars will automatically open up. So we're just going to sit here when they open up. We can fly inside and lock ourselves down and they'll close up relatively quickly. So there we go, that's now opening up. We can start to fly inside nice and carefully like so. This is the inside of our hangar. We can just fly inside and then dock ourselves up. There we go. The hangar door will now start to close up and we'll be nice and safe in here. So it's a fairly large hangar, so you can get a pretty decent ship, but it has to be a small block ship or the doors will not react to you. You could add a manual button if you wanted to or override the controls, but still it is only intended for small ships. A bunch of spotlights going around here which create a nice little glowing effect with the little lights coming shining down. We've got our time blocks there, we've got some air vents to make sure this fills up with oxygen nice and fast. And we can see plenty of glass for where we can go in just a minute. Around the hangar we've got our ramps that just connect ourselves over here to make a nice little pattern. And then we can view over here at our little ring. Yes, we can see outside of the ring because we can travel through this door like so. Get outside through that door. Or we can go through this and walk around those glass rings. So I just come around to here, through here, and then just close that up. Then we can just head on outside here. We've got a little walkway over to the other place. So there we are. If that ever got damaged in combat, you still have a small walkway to get from one place to another. But now if I come down to here and find this ship, we can then connect ourselves up to the big boy connector. So finding the way inside this ship, I believe it was at the front. Yes, it was. There we go. Oh, it's got an airlock, so it'll take some time to get through these doors. All the way up around here, into the cockpit. There we are. We'll then have this bit right here. So if I just reverse up to it, the sensor will activate and the LCD screens will turn on. Piston will now start to extend towards me and allow me to just go and connect myself up. Like 
So, I mean, that was close enough. I almost got it merge blocked. But yes, we can just go like down to here, connect ourselves up and boom, we are done. So yeah, it's a way of connecting much larger ships up. So getting into the actual station itself, I'll just come around into this doorway here because this is where we started off. So in the doorway, just closing that up, back into the, the little hangar. There is our ship where we docked. We now have a few ways to go and they've all been labeled. Let me just close that up. There we go. So we can go to the armory first, which is through this little door. So coming through here, we've got our armory lockers and our lockers. We've got a little toilet there and an air vent. Then we have some more ways to go. We can view outside this window at people walking by. And then we have a little airlock, which allows to go outside around to where we just were. So coming through this door, we can then access the trading bay, which has, as you would expect, the little trading stations, the contracts, and all that. So here we have our little store, we then have our vending machine. On the opposite side, we have our contracts and our store. And then we have a little seating area over here with a few planters, just to have a little rest. Coming back around to here, we then have a couple more ways we can go. We do have an ATM over here, which I did miss out, and an air vent over there. Let's go to manufacturing first. As you know, we won't go there yet because that's like a central point. We can come around through this door and all the way to our secondary armory, which is this right here. Then we can come through here to hangar B, which is the same as hangar A. It just has no ship inside it. And we see a little camera up there so our little command center can view us coming in and out. Got a little airlock where we can go outside on the opposite station, which is the exact same as the first time we went round. And then coming through here, we then have our parts locker, where we have a little assembler there to build a few little bits and bobs if you needed to repair up your ship. And now it's time to come into manufacturing. Through manufacturing, we've got a double door, and here we are. We've got a bunch of cargo containers, we've got a bunch of refineries, we've got assemblers and all that, just to keep this station moving and keeping your ships nice and repaired if you needed to do so. So this is what it looks like without a light on. It's lovely, isn't it? Nice big room to walk around in. We then have a doorway on the opposite side that takes us to Hangar A. And then we've got a few more ways to go. So we've got a doorway on this side that takes us to our Command Bay. And a doorway on this side which will take us to our Trade Bay. So that is where we just were. And we can go to the opposite side. So in the Command Bay, which is coming through here, this is where we're going to have our battle meetings, discuss where we want to go. There is a projector there where that was projecting this station but I turned it off to save performance and we have a few programmable blocks around the outside what do these have going on with them nothing too much so we can put stuff on there if you want to like an auto door script if you needed to have that we then have two little seats that sit on either side one is for weapons and one is for docking so we can come into here view in the hangar open and close the docks manually and all that and then on the opposite side we will need to set a few things up because the buttons are missing, but we could if we wanted to take manual control over some of the turrets on the station and just blast everything that comes by. Coming out of that and going over here, this is our medical bay to respawn on. We can just head up to our mess hall. So coming up these steps, coming all the way around, we've got ourselves another doorway. And this is where we're going to sleep. Lots of beds around here for all your workers to go in. What's happened here? Where am I? Uh oh, that's not good. There we are. Yes, we've got some planters. We've got lockers, we've got our air vents, then we can come through a little passageway. Through here, we can then view our hangar, then continuing along, we'll then get over to this room over here, where we've got some more beds, and we've got some more lockers, continuing going on through here. We've got a bed there, then around to here, we've got ourselves our mess hall, where we've got some kitchens where you can serve up food to people. We've got planters going around, we've got big old tables here, and a nice viewing area. Then coming all the way around to here, we then have a dunder doorway, which will lead to some more beds. Then opening up this doorway round to here will take us to the outside. So this is our manual way in and out. And then last place to visit will be the doorway that was around here. There was a doorway around here. Unless I've gone absolutely crazy. I swear there was a door around here. I think it was around this bit right here. There it is. There's the doorway. So coming up this ramp, we can then come into this bit right here where this is our Little expansion point if you wanted to. If you wanted to set a reactor in here or set up some more auction tanks if they're not enough, you can do so. Or you can repair the current auction tanks in here. So it's a little maintenance room. Let me just walk around, jump through all the little holes. Got a little spotlight there. And then we can just try to walk down here. Blah. And there we are. We can then access this Gatling gun. 
so the only thing left to do now is spawn in an enemy ship for the station to attack. So let's just come over to here and find ooh, the Albatross. That seems like a good ship. I'm not sure if it has any guns on there. Oh, oh, hello there. Oh, special thanks to Jack Army for... Oh, oh, my pleasure. So here we go. We're just going to spawn this in. Sorry for blowing it up after saying thank you. We're now going to give this to the pirates. And let the station blast it. So here we go. Space pirates. Off it goes. The station is now going to open fire against the Albatross. Look at all those rocket goes and all the bullets flying everywhere. I might need to make myself untargetable. There we go. That should stop them from attacking me, hopefully. Turret, please. That is making quite short work, isn't it? Very short work. There is enough guns on here to deter quite a large ship from coming and destroying this base. If you were just coming in full force with a bunch of rocket launchers, then yes, this station will not stand a chance. But look at them go. It's doing a very good job. But anyway, that is it for the Solaris Station. It'll be in the description below if you wish to download and play around with it yourself. I highly recommend you do. But do beware, it's a little heavy on the performance side. But anyway, thank you all for watching. And I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.